While students work in small groups, Mr. Shazer takes me to Vokey.com to show me her avatars. Vokeys were used to provide instructions and eyewitness testimony for the students who were the detectives. Agents, this is Special Agent D. We need to keep the media off of this case. Remember when trying to solve the case, use the KISS strategy to help you do inquiry in conjunction with textual clues. Also, use your schema when analyzing the crime scene and clues to help you along the way. Lastly, everything has to have proof, so remember to support your findings with concrete evidence. Report back to me when you have found the suspect and proof of the crime. Agents, this is Let's check out Mr. Shazer in character. That's a lot or a year? Yeah. Yeah. That's the only thing that I'm like, you know, like 29. What's it through 10? Wait, what did you put? That's not a 2, that's a 1. No. Give me the. I need to go. 29. What? David. How you gonna have 2 of them? You wanna post that one? This is now we go to five. The school nurse was able. It was called and was able to be there in this instance. Principal Adam so hard to go home, but she Miss Jenkins refused. She wanted to stay at work to finish the lunches. Miss Jenkins was not. Students are actively engaged in investigating this crime scene. They are looking for evidence to support their findings. <laughs> the second floor has the main office like the room in the third and fourth grade classroom. Okay, so like, is this there that um, Mr. Shark and third grade teacher was questioning? He said that he saw he was in the copy room and did not see her. But it, you just read that the copy room was on the third floor. So, obviously, he saw her. Okay, so, I make an inference. My inference, uh, I think that, I think that Mr. Frank killed her, because he's on, um, like, on the same floor with her, yeah, and the rest of the teachers saw, saw her, but he's saying he didn't, so. What a great lesson for teaching inferencing and searching for evidence to support your findings.